Welcome to this edition of Hebrew Nation News on YouTube. Every week, the world seems to be descending deeper and faster into end-time events. Listen in as Bonnie Harvey covers the news highlights of the week for a quick overview. Remember, we know not the day nor the hour, but we do know the season. Reporting to you live on YouTube is this week's report. Countdown to the second coming. Welcome to the Countdown of the Second Coming. This is December 14. Uh, Italy, the recent vote there, is this a harbinger of doom? Many people are saying so. Uh, it, 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 the changes that Renzi wanted to make uh, were not that complicated. Uh, so this is being viewed as not uh, a vote against the simple changes, but this is a vote against the European Union. 20 years ago, Italy had a healthy manufacturing sector. The euro has destroyed Italy's economy and growth. And the, the their currency of the lira. Hence, the Italian banks are in crisis. Those who know say it's not because of mismanagement. It's not because of irresponsibility. It is because of EU, because their economy now is based upon the euro. Uh, the EU demands a bail-in which is taking the depositors' money. Ren Renzi sought a bailout uh, exemption from EU rules, and Merkel said no. Renzi tried a bail-in uh, last year, and it resulted in one pensioner uh, committing suicide, but only after he wrote a pathetic note to Renzi, uh, about the devastation that occurred in his life when his life savings were taken. So Renzi was not eager to um, repeat that mistake. Italy is the eighth largest economy in the world. If they leave the EU after the UK has already left because of their Brexit vote, this would certainly be a death knell to the EU. Does the resignation of Renzi mean I Texit or Italy exiting? No, but it's more likely Italy will now be without a, a, a on an insecure governmental footing for a few months, although someone has stepped up. Uncertainty is bad for banks. Will that start a bad a, a run on the banks? Uh, the Greek example. Um, the Greek people pulled the euros out of the bank before the government could repay depositors in drachmas, and and this run on euros uh, further damaged the Greek banks and exacerbated their problems. So will that happen in uh, Europe? I mean, in Italy, uh, if if the people start withdrawing their euros at, because it's going their euros are going to be devalued by having them replaced by a lesser valued lira, uh, they would certainly lo lose money. So the people might be eager to pull out euros. Uh, and this is uh, thoughts of Victor Sperando. Uh, he said uh, the um, Italian vote, this is Italy that wants to lead the, U the European Union. Uh, the euro breakup, he predicts, will be the big story of 2017. Uh, he is, by the way, he manages uh, the investments, $3 billion worth of investments, um, Victor Sperandio. Beppe Grillo will be the next leader of Italy, and they will leave the euro if Le Pen wins France, says Sperandio, the EU will collapse. 
Investors will run to hard assets, i.e. precious metals. It will be destruction, chaos, depression. Uh, the UK economy improved after Brexit. So this is actually encouraging other countries to leave the EU. He said uh, the fall of Italian banks would be like a, a thousand uh, layman's. He said uh, it, that this is what we can expect financially. He said, just read the text of Credence Clearwater's Bad Moon Rising, and you will see our future. Uh, and this is the chorus for Bad Moon Rising. Don't go around tonight. Well, it's bound to take your life. There's a bad moon on the rise. The first verse, I see a bad moon rising. I see trouble on the way. I see earthquakes and lightning. I see bad times today. I hear hurricanes a-blow, and I know the end is coming soon. I fear rivers overflowing. I hear the voice of rage and ruin. Hope you got your things together. Hope you're quite prepared to die. Looks like we're in for nasty weather. The one eye is taken for an eye. He said, in short, that's his message to the global economy. Bad moon rising. Uh, is the writing on the wall. Deutsche Bank CEO John Cryer, not pictured here, actually pictured here, is... Um, uh, the New Zealand Prime Minister, Key, who resigned, um, John Cryan of, of Deutsche Bank, and again, remember, J J David Wilkerson said that the, the global financial collapse, it, he was shown to him in a vision, not a dream, a vision, uh, started in Germany. Uh, he warns of, uh, uh, Deutsche Bank warns of increase turbulence in markers, markets because of the vote, and questions, is the EU at risk? Within hours of the uh, ITEXIT vote, a New Zealander Prime Minister John Key resigns, and one of his uh, support staff also re resigned. John Key is a, uh, a banker's banker. Could he see the writing on the wall? He has spent his whole career in banker, banking, even sitting on Merrill Lynch and the Federal Reserve. He has served internationally as a banker. When he saw the Italian vote the very same day, he quit. Does he know what's coming and he doesn't want it to happen on his watch? Uh, is he just going to head for the bunkers? I don't know, but certainly uh, since he is a banker, of insider knowledge and uh, a lifetime of acumen concerning international banking, uh, it certainly is warning that he would uh, resign within hours. Globalist panic. Uh, this picture should say it all. Here they are. Only Merkel is left. Here we have Cameron. He is gone. Here's Obama. Uh, I don't know if he's going to go, but anyway, we'll say he's gone. Uh, here's Renzi right here, and here is Holland. Holland says he's, he's resigning. So of the um, quintet here that we see, only Merkel remains. Uh, Western leadership. Here's an example of Western leadership. This is Jen Stoltenberg. Stoltenberg, he was the Prime Minister of Norway. Now he's the head of NATO. This is taken before he was a Prime Minister, and here he is with his 666 t-shirt. When Putin says Western leaders worship Satan, he knows what he's talking about. And here is Stoltenberg with his good friend Bill Gates. Yes, his he is had he is eager to push vaccines on the world. They are big supporters of vaccines. His sister is the director of public health in public health services in Norway. Uh, Obama is now signed. Uh, an executive order, it's okay to ship arms now to ISIS, al-Nusra, al-Qaeda terrorists fighting Assad because, quotes, that's in the interest of the United States government. So this is kind of a uh, uh, um, an example of Western leadership and 
you know, is it time that this Ponzi scheme of Western bankers, uh, where um, where wealth is determined by debt, is it time for this to come down? More bad news for Deutsche Bank. They're being sued in federal court for silver price manipulation. There's a class action by traders who claim fraud by Deutsche Bank, Barclays, and UBS. And here are the three global piggies up here uh, manipulating gold prices, setting prices, setting up false demands, saying one team, one dream. Uh, an example of the I think it's 75 um, uh, uh, tapes, the 75 audio, audios uh, turned over to uh, the uh, um, Department of Justice and 350,000 pages of discovery uh, in some of those audio tapes are, if we are correct and do it together, we... Other people hardest, harder. It sounds like the tapes that were uh, brought to the public after the Enron uh, fiasco. The banking mafia, here they are. Wall Street on parade. Traders refer to each other as the mafia. Deutsche Bank, oh, here we go. Turned over 350,000, 75 audio tapes. Um, Wall Street is undoubtedly skewed against the average investor. Uh, we need a Justice Department that's not corrupt. Uh, will this further erode this class action suit? Further erode Deutsche Bank's profitability. So the global financial system is, is taking blow after blow. Remember that Deutsche Bank um, is also being sued by the Justice Department. I think $14 billion was their share uh, for the... Um, Securities fraud of 2008. What does a financial collapse look like? Here we see a, uh, we'll see a film. These are some photos taken from the film of what a financial collapse is looking like right now in Venezuela. Uh, and when they die, you just load them on a cart and drag them out. Um, when the dog dies, just leave it right there. Uh, here are people in the hospitals who, uh, who, uh, they they have to bring their own medications with them. All, all the federal uh, health system pre, uh, offers is a bed, a mattress, and the doctors and nurses. But the doctors and nurses have no medicines. Here is the uh, Venezuelan ambassador to the United Nations. He said, "We have no problems. We have problems here, but this is in no way a humanitarian crisis." And here you see skinny babies. Here you see emergency rooms full of people, but they can't do anything because they. They hardly have any medicines to go around. Here are long lines for uh, food. Uh, uh, here is his the sister, is the director of public health in public health services in Norway. Uh, Obama is now signed uh, an executive order. It's okay to ship arms now to ISIS, Al Nusra, Al Qaeda terrorists fighting Assad, because quotes that's in the interest of the United States government. So this is kind of a uh, uh, um, an example of Western leadership, and you know, is it time that this Ponzi sc scheme of Western bankers, uh, where um, where wealth is determined by debt? Is it time for this to come down? More bad news for Deutsche Bank. They're being sued in federal court for silver price manipulation. There's a class action by traders who claim fraud by Deutsche Bank, Barclays, and UBS. And here are the three global piggies up here uh, manipulating gold prices, setting prices, setting up false demands, saying one team, one dream. Uh, an example of the, I think it's 75 um, uh, uh, tapes, the 75 audio, audios uh, turned over to uh, the uh, um, Department of Justice and 350,000 pages of discovery uh, in some of those audio tapes are, if we are correct and do it together, we... 
other people hardest, harder. It sounds like the tapes that were uh, brought to the public after the Enron uh, fiasco. The banking mafia, here they are, Wall Street on parade. Traders referred to each other as the mafia. Deutsche Bank, oh, here we go, turned over 350,000, 75 audio tapes. Um, Wall Street is undoubtedly skewed against the average investor. Uh, we need a justice department that's not corrupt. Uh, will this further erode this class action suit? Further erode Deutsche Bank's profitability. So the global financial system is, is taking blow after blow. Remember that Deutsche Bank um, is also being sued by the Justice Department. I think $14 billion was their share uh, for the... Uh, um, Securities fraud of 2008. What does a financial collapse look like? Here we see a, uh, we'll see a film. These are some photos taken from the film of what a financial collapse is looking like right now in Venezuela. Uh, and when they die, you just load them on a cart and drag them out. Um, when the dog dies, just leave it right there. Uh, here are people in the hospitals who, uh, who, uh, they they have to bring their own medications with them. All all the federal uh, health system pre uh, offers is a bed, a mattress, and the doctors and nurses. But the doctors and nurses have no medicines. Here is the uh, Venezuelan ambassador to the United Nations. He said, "We have no problems. We have problems here, but this is in no way a humanitarian crisis." And here you see skinny babies. Here you see emergency rooms full of people, but they can't do anything because they. They hardly have any medicines to go around. Here are long lines for uh, food. Uh, here is the, um, this is worth watching. What if this hits the United States? And it will. No hay crisis humanitaria. No la hay. Lo afirmo con total responsabilidad. No la hay. Nosotros tenemos problemas acá, pero esto no es para nada una crisis humanitaria. En nuestra propia cara ellos son capaces de decirnos que aquí no está pasando nada y que no estamos en crisis, pero es totalmente falso, porque mientras ellos se mantienen en una posición de negarlo todo, mucha gente está muriendo, mucha gente está padeciendo. In Venezuela today, hospitals around the country have run out of basic medicines and supplies. In addition, severe shortages of food and other goods have made it very difficult for many people to even feed their families. People have to wait for hours in line to buy basic things like rice, flour, sugar, and toilet paper, and many live with nothing as limited stocks run out quickly. A veces, tres días o la misma semana haciendo cola, durmiendo en la calle, durmiendo en la acera, para tener un número y ese otro día poder ir a comprar. Con estas 14 horas que yo tengo aquí de trasnocho, a lo mejor me llevo dos kilos de harina para mi familia. El gobierno dice que aquí no hay crisis, que aquí no pasa nada. No, 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 que se venga ese cola y el gobierno a ver si es verdad. Many people rely on goods that are price controlled by the government because they cannot afford to buy food at unregulated prices or on the black market. Por familia, donde si usted tiene cuatro miembros de familia, usted tiene derecho a comprar una bolsa de productos regulados. Pero ¿qué trae, por favor, la bolsa de productos regulados? Una leche, dos pastas, tres harinas, una leche condensada para un mes. Ahora esta situación de la, la comida es primera vez que pasa. Antes que se comía por comer los plátanos, ahora ni los plátanos se pueden comer. De lo caro que está. No tenemos ni para el almuerzo y para los niños. Y bueno, hay que sobrevivir. Y en, enseñarles a ellos decir, no hay, espérense, mañana, pasado. Y eso a mí me da dolor. Porque yo no importa, ya yo estoy pasando. Pero estos niños que están empezando a vivir, the humanitarian situation has gotten dramatically worse in the last two years. Infant mortality in 2016 was 
20% higher than in 2013. Maternal mortality was 79% higher than in 2009. 76% of hospitals reported shortages or complete lack of basic medicines, many classified as essential medicines by the World Health Organization. La gente, el pueblo, tiene que estar comprando la mayoría de los insumos porque tenemos un déficit de aproximadamente el 90% de los insumos médico quirúrgicos en, en nuestro hospital. Es muy triste, llega la paciente a la sala de admisión y hay que darle una lista con yelcos, con soluciones, con compresas, con antibióticos, con analgésicos, ¿verdad? con los pañales desechables del bebé, con las toallas clínicas, con sábanas, con lo más mínimo, porque lo único que le presta la institución de salud es la cama, el colchón y la presencia del cuerpo médico y, la, y el cuerpo de enfermería. Lo demás, todo lo tiene que llevar. Patients with both acute and chronic conditions, like cancer, high blood pressure, diabetes, and epilepsy, are often unable to get the medicines they need. Venezuela's pharmaceutical union estimates that 85% of medicines are often unavailable in pharmacies. And on the black market, the few medicines that are available are extremely expensive and come with no quality guarantees. En un inicio era normal, íbamos a las farmacias y a través de los laboratorios inclusive conseguimos mucha ayuda, pero como te digo, ya hace casi ya dos años, la, eh, tenemos que hacer un recorrido, un tour, por muchas farmacias para poder conseguir la, la, la insulina, las cintas reactivas. Y bueno, ya desde hace un año para acá hemos tenido que recurrir a cadenas por medio de WhatsApp o las redes sociales, por Twitter o por Instagram para poder conseguir esto, todo el tratamiento. Quedan varias farmacias cerca y por lo menos cuatro o cinco veces a la semana voy a farmacias diferentes a ver. Pero la misma gente me dice, no, nada que llega, nada que llega, nada que llega. In this psychiatric hospital, doctors said they had no choice but to lock patients up, as they lacked the means to provide treatment. Uh, el primer paciente que tuvimos la, la pérdida de porque no tuvimos oxígeno y doloroso es ver al paciente morir y no ten, y sabiendo uno lo que debe de hacer y no lo hace porque una sala de observación no tenemos con nada. The government's response has been to repress and retaliate against those who dare to speak out. El informe era básicamente el área quirúrgica y eso fue entregado a los organismos públicos que se encargan de vigilar y de garantizar el derecho constitucional a la salud. Ese fue el canal que yo seguí como jefe de servicio. La respuesta fue mi institución. Human Rights Watch documented dozens of cases where Venezuelans who publicly criticized the government's handling of the humanitarian crisis reported being subject to violence or intimidation by state agents. In ese momento la manifestación estamos manifestando por comida, luz, agua, por todo lo que lo que necesitamos aquí, pues cuál fue la respuesta? Un poco de policía disparando, agarrándonos, nos decían hubo un policía que fue el que me golpeó a mí, este diciendo que agarran a todas esas malditas perras idosas y las montan que nos las vamos a llevar. Cuando voy llegando me tienen a mí en el piso y a mi esposa dándole golpe y a varias personas allí. Y también para dentro de esa patrulla. Y 45 días preso. Yo no puedo estar en una cola para poder tener que sea un medio kilo de café o una harina. Porque si a mí de casualidad se forma otra de ahí y a mí me agarran ahí, entonces ahí sí es verdad que me van a aplicar una peor. ¿Entiende? En mayo 2016, the Secretary General of the Organization of American States, Luis Almagro, presented a comprehensive report on the humanitarian crisis and abuses in Venezuela and called on the OAS member states to evaluate if Venezuela is complying with its democratic and human rights commitments under the Inter-American Democratic Charter. La Carta Democrática la pueden hacer así, mira, ponerla en un tubito bien fino y darle mejor uso, señor Almagro. Métase su carta democrática por donde le quepa. A Venezuela se respeta. Y a Venezuela nadie le va a aplicar. Ninguna carta. The Venezuelan government has failed 
to effectively address this profound humanitarian crisis. And it has made only limited efforts to obtain international humanitarian assistance that could alleviate the ongoing suffering of so many of its people. It is critical that the international community, in particular the Organization for American States, press President Maduro to urgently take effective steps to end the medicine and food shortages and stop the repression against his critics. There is no more time to waste. In France now, uh, saving babies' lives is a crime. The French National Assembly passed a bill that makes it a crime to post information online that challenges abortion. They call it a crime. It's a new crime called obstruction of voluntary termination of the baby's life. So this is obstruction of murder. Now this will certainly bring further curse uh, by the Almighty upon France. The Naval Academy has a new course now, transgenderism. Uh, the, the teacher is Marnie Florin, who uses the pronoun ze. And here we see Marnie. All active duty sailors must complete transgender training by the end of next month. Here are the Russian naval, n navy people, navy, navy office, na navy troops. I mean, do you, here are some more Russian Navy troops. Now, I wonder if they would know, if they met Marnie, if they would know what the proper gender was. What's the, prop, what's the proper word that they should use as gender when addressing her, him? This is so ludicrous. This leader-in-chief in that we have uh, is just uh, feminizing our military not only cutting back, not only undermining, not only giving resources, medical resources, away to uh, illegals that he's importing by the bucket load, but also feminizing them. What does astronaut Aldrich know? Here he's, he sends a tweet. Uh, this is, we are all in danger. It is evil himself, along with this picture that is a pyramid being exposed in Antarctica. Here we see from the air, pyramids are, are uh, being exposed in Antarctica. And we know um, here is a pyramid. Here is Princess Elizabeth Station. We know that um, uh, Kerry, Kirill and Obama all have traveled to Antarctica in 2016. Uh, Eastern Orthodox leaders have not met with the Pope in over a thousand years. However, Kirill met with Pope Francis in an emergency meeting prior his, to his departure to Antarctica. Um, what's going on there? I don't, can't, be sure, uh, but it is not good. If you read Steve Quayle, if you listen to Stephen Ben Noon, uh, you know, these people are saying that uh, there's a Nephilim link, that there is a, a true satanic evil uh, coming from this from these this nexus of events uh, NATO member attack uh, Turkey is an elite in Syria illegally not invited by Assad who was last elected in 2014 Erdogan of Turkey says we're in oh sorry we're in Assyria to end Assad's rule wrong word we are in Assyria to end Assad's rule reports indicate that Turkey is helping fund Isis rebels by stolen oil from Iraq Turkey is a NATO member so an attack on one is an attack on all how this will shake out I don't know but um you know watch Syria uh, if, if there is a war, uh, people have seen in dreams that it starts in or uh, it starts in Syria. Elites of the earth want Syria for their own exploitation, i.e. pipeline. And we can, uh, Turkish troops are were attacked by unknown aircraft December 6. No one claims responsibility and they couldn't see who it was. They couldn't see the kind of airplane because um, it was at night. Here appears to be a night vision. Uh, they don't know who it was. And we can see why, that, why Syria is, is, um, is desired. 
um, here is the uh, U.S. backed pipeline uh, going through here, going through uh, up through Syria, and then on into Europe. Of course, Europe is uh, energy thirsty, and all of this Caspian oil, uh, Russian oil, they want to ship it for this pipeline. And you can see that Syria put their country in the wrong place. They put it right where the United States and Turkey uh, want to build a pipeline. So it's their own fault, right? Hmm. What is happening in the religious world? The third temple is now on Google. And here is a short clip to uh, show you what is now on Google Earth. The Dome of the Rock. And this is the Dome of the Rock. When you click on it, you can go in and see um, various images for it. All right, and then I'll click exit here. And then you have to click this again. And I'm clicking outside. Here's the Dome of the Rock inside. That's it. And uh, this is the one I believe that Stephen Dean showed. And here we have the third temple, supposedly. I mean, this is just ridiculous why this is in the same location of the Dome of the Rock and you don't even see the Dome of the Rock anywhere. I mean, this is from Google. I mean, this is today. I just opened it up after he shared it in his video. He just had some really, really, really bad quality. Um, you have any questions out there in the chat? The Illuminati card game. Here is, it shows a church and it shows what are evidently UFOs flying around the church. And look at the tagline. They'll never get it even when the saucers are flying overhead. The churches are asleep and will not recognize the alien invasion for what it is. Remember, those who are in Jesus Yeshua can rebuke these things. That's the only way you can stop them. And if you're not in Jesus Yeshua, you have no power over these this invasion that is coming. And interestingly, Christians are the only ones who could defeat these demons, but they will not recognize it. Earth changes are profound. The largest fresh water in China is now dry. It was 80 feet deep. There is a giant crack in Antarctica. Uh, interestingly, the, the Earth is warming up from underneath, from the ground up. And this is the radiation um, being absorbed through the poles from this incoming planetary system that is approaching Earth from the south. It is known as Nibiru, Planet X, whatever. Um, astrophysicists um, have s stated that uh, this will cause profound earth changes. It will destabilize the weather. It will cause extremes in weather, which we are seeing. Uh, it will cause great, great wind star storms up to eight, 900 miles an hour, uh, and also have as associated um, asteroid fallings. And we can see the, the trumpets in Revelation are asteroids. Uh, the earth is already heating up. Uh, the um, the uh, magnetosphere is cracking. The um, ozone layer over the Antarctica is, uh, there's a hole in it from all the radiation that is uh, coming in through the poles. Remember, the magnetosphere does not protect the poles. Uh, so um, the earth is heating up from the inside out. And this is why we're having so many pyro geo uh, occurrences. Um, uh, it is because the earth is heating up and it is becoming unstable. So earth, uh, earthquakes are happening. Uh, volcanoes are, are going off uh, in record numbers. Two, three super moon, moons in a row. This is the third of the, of the super moons, one in October, November, and December. 
today. Uh, 16 quakes in 30 days, and this is uh, more even now. Uh, there was a major strike in Cascadia, a buoy off Oregon when on alert, the land under it sunk four feet, where two, uh, don't know, but that's a lot of water, uh, a lot of land, the uh, Juan de Fuca plate slipped under the North American plate as shown in this graphic. You can see as this plate slips under, it causes the top plate to bulge, and the more it slips, the more this bulges until the top layer just flips up, just flips up to relieve the pressure, um, and that causes a tsunami that is disproportionate to the size of the earthquake. This happened in the 2004 uh, uh, Indian Ocean uh, on uh, December 26, I think it was, 2004, uh, that killed a quarter of a million people. <clears throat> And here, uh, uh, experts are saying, in fact, this is Ken Ms. Murphy of FEMA. He said, our operating assumption is that everything west of Interstate 5 will be toast whenever this goes off. And remember, the Earth's core is heating. If you live on the west side of I-5, please consult Father and see what you should do. And here is the extreme weather, extreme wet, extreme cold, extreme dry, extreme hot, extreme everything, extreme weather. That's the name of the game while this planetary system is um, approaching from the south. And the, su the sun of this planetary system is a, uh, a brother star to our sun. Our sun is a binary system, uh, which most, most systems in the universe are a binary s system, binary sun, which means they have two suns. A uh, cosmic earth blast is uh, scheduled uh, to be December 26-27. Here we have um, uh, the first one uh, above is uh, BP Earthwatch. The next one here is Paul Begley. Uh, interestingly enough, Obama signs an executive order coordinating the effort to prepare the nation for space weather events. He signed this October 13. Here is the link. Please watch these, especially the YouTubes. This could hit December 26, 27. And again, the last time something like this happened, uh, a quarter of a million people were killed. And that is the, uh, um, the Indian Ocean, the North Thailand uh, earthquake. Uh, this cloud stayed on the border between Israel and Syria and kept ISIS out. ISIS had previously attacked Israel at this point. Is this a, a down payment of what the Almighty can do in defense of his land? Remember that Ezekiel 38:39 tells us that uh, the Almighty will rain down brimstone uh, on the troops that come against Israel in the battle of Ge Ma Gog and Magog. The Almighty, uh, it, he owns this land, not the Jewish people. They're there by, as his guest. <laughs> And um, he will protect it. Will Trump be president? I don't know. Please listen to Dave Hodges with Paul Martin. Here's the link. Uh, Dave Hodges with Mike Adam. Here is the link. Uh, there is much, much, much going on. What will happen between now and January 20? It could be, um, the, it, they could be uh, great storms ahead. Great storm ahead between now and January 20. 
please trust Father. If you don't know Father, all you have to do is get a Bible and start reading. If you can't read the Bible because you hate the Bible, I understand that. I was there one day. There is a part that you can uh, that you can read. Put the Bible in front of you and tell Father, I hate to read your word. I hate it. I hate to read it. So would you please show me a portion that I can read? And for me, it was Revelation. I could read that. Couldn't read anything else, but I could read Revelation. I got a new heart in Christ Yeshua reading Revelation. Uh, I, lo I looped it for four months. And at the end of that time, I realized that he had performed a miracle in my life by uh, taking away uh, the hostility that was in the marriage that really, I mean, we were, we had our divorce papers in the court system. And we uh, stopped the divorce proceedings. Our daughter was going to die. She was given eight, nine months to live because she had um, a metastasized melanoma. Uh, she lives today. Our marriage is good, better than it's ever been. So I know whereof I speak. You cannot get to know Father by sitting with your arms folded and saying, he, d he isn't real. Please, please just pick up a Bible. Tell Father, I hate to read your word. Show me something I can read. Hugs to all. We shall see you next week. Father willing. <laughs>